But It's your girl Ash. Welcome back to Ash's car <laughs> again. And the reason that I'm in my car is because I finally got the cheese it tostada. Ah! <laughs> I know everybody has been trying these, and um, I wanted to try it too, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I do have a bit of a confession to make, though, um, but we'll we'll talk about that in a little bit. My head hurts. It's overdraft today outside like it's about to downpour and you know like how when the weather changes like your head starts to, it's just a, a mess of a day today um but it's morning time so i also have like a breakfast crunch wrap so i was really happy that they had the tostada and like the breakfast crunch wrap so that's gonna be delicious and then i also have my baja blast of course all right so let's get a prayer in real quick and let's dig in because i'm hungry my head hurts i'm tired and I got to deal with a camp today. I volunteered to be a camp counselor. Lord knows why. Anyway, all right. So um, go ahead and grab your food if you want to eat with me. And let's do this. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for everything that you've given us, Lord. I pray that you please bless this food before us. Please make it a blessing and nourishment unto our bodies. In Jesus' most precious and holy name we pray. Amen. So yeah, I can't talk today for whatever reason. Um, it's just my head really, really hurts. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the tostada. I, mean, I should probably because I didn't take a picture for a thumbnail so maybe I should make a, a thumbnail like <gasps> looking at it does it look like we're in love <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how these thumbnails are going to turn out but we'll see <laughs> all right we have sour cream cheese tomatoes beef um let me put the tomatoes they fell off there we go. Let's get a closer look for you guys. I know, pay no attention to my nails. They're like all, ah, all broken and stuff. See, I don't want to like tilt it because there we go. Okay. Let me just bite this thing. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's still good. So my confession is that I tried this once before like a day or two ago when I was on my way to work the goal was to make a video um to you know share this with you guys and like show you guys like my first time trying it um however things didn't work out I tried to be on time for everything and there was road work and I was like almost late for work oh what I drop I was almost late for work I had to like try to pull over to the side of the road for like just two minutes so I could like eat because I hadn't eaten and I was very hungry. So I didn't really have the full like really good experience with it. I literally just shoved it down. But the cheese it cracker is very, very cheesy. Like it has a super strong cheesy flavor. It tastes just like the cheese it. Like you know you're eating a cheese it. It's really good actually. This is a very creative concept. I, I like it. So y'all can see it a little better. <laughs> Mm. the sour cream the first time I tried it wasn't evenly distributed so one of the bites I had was like just pure sour cream into my mouth and that wasn't very pleasant <laughs> but yeah so how are you guys how's everything mm. anything new I see a lot of positive feedback from my uh my shout outs and so again I just wanted to thank you guys for showing me love uh, something's in my eye yeah so I just wanted to thank you guys again, like for showing me love. Like, honestly, you guys really, you're the reason I'm even doing this. <laughs> Cause if nobody was watching, I wouldn't even be half as motivated as I am to try to get some more videos out like faster. Mm. Very salty. The meat is very salty. So don't skimp out. <clears throat> on the sour cream if, even if you don't like sour cream it's very needed to balance out the um the saltiness of this it's it's needed it works very well with it same thing with the tomatoes i'm not a fan of tomatoes but the tomatoes are needed in this <clears throat> mm. 
just because everything is very salty. But it's very good. Mm. But what's been going on with you guys? What's new? What's happening in your lives? All the good things, I hope. I pray. Speaking of prayer, y'all have any prayer requests? Just drop it in the comments. I'll pray for all of y'all. Prayer is very important to me. I mean, y'all already know I'm a Christian, but that's like the biggest superpower to pray for somebody. I'm Listen, I'm greedy for prayer. Somebody said they're going to pray for me. Be like, please, please, please. I need it. <laughs> I do have fire sauce, but I'm enjoying the taste of this just like as is. So it's not lacking in flavor. Did y'all see Popeyes has like a bunch of new sandwiches or something? That might be my next video. Popeye sandwich reviews. Because I've actually never tried a Popeye sandwich. When people were beating each other up and offering each other over getting a Popeye sandwich, I was like, yeah, that's not my jam. So I never tried it before just to kind of be like, huh, just to be an op over it. Like I, I decided I was like, I'm going to stay, I'm going to just stay over here. <laughs> but now that the hype surrounding it has died down a bit, <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to try it. because to off someone or to no longer value someone's life over a fried chicken sandwich is crazy homie like that's crazy <laughs> mm. oh, good. so um on a scale of like zero to ten I would rate the cheese it tostada a solid seven. It's really good. Um, points were taken off because it's really salty, <laughs> but the the sour cream and the and the tomatoes really really make up for that. Um, I have my Baja Blast, of course. Um, the flavors are great. I love the freshness, like the lettuce and like all that stuff on top. I would have heck even gotten some extra of the uh, shredded cheddar cheese. Like I, I like the cheesiness of it. It's really good. Because like a seven is not bad at all. <laughs> seven is actually a really good score. <clears throat> and now I have my breakfast crunch wrap. This is a sausage one. For this one, I will be using my fire sauce. I'm so tired, y'all. I volunteered at a summer camp for kids because they needed some extra counselors and stuff. And I'm regretting it. It's just a day camp. But I mean, I like kids and everything. Don't get me wrong. It's just my favorite part of children is that you get to give them back that's my favorite part <laughs> but no like the kids that I have in my group they're all so sweet and I absolutely adore like taking care of them and stuff it's just mm. y'all don't sleep on Taco Bell's breakfast for real mm. But yeah, the kids that I have in my group, they're so sweet. I love all of them. I love each of these children in my group. But I have a headache. <laughs> and they scream a lot. <laughs> really good. So if y'all have never had Taco Bell um, breakfast before, I recommend it, especially the um, breakfast crunch wrap. <sighs> I 
I need to do my nails over again. This one, as you can see, is broken. I like the French tips. But I was thinking about, like, doing a different style. I don't know what style. These, um... <clears throat> these nails that I have on... Because I like to try different, like, press-ons or what they call... They call them overlays or whatever. But I like to try different press-ons and stuff. And these ones that I'm wearing... I got from, um... Like, a dollar store. Like, um... What are they called? Like, a five and below store. Um... And these are, like, the worst quality nails I ever had. Like, I've gotten nails from the dollar store before that were, like, better than this. But, like, these nails, like, they chip and they split. Like, you see this one? This one's, like, split in the middle there. They're not very strong. And especially because, like, I work in a hospital, you know, like, we got to be, like, moving and we got to be doing stuff. Sometimes we need to use our nails to, like, open stuff or whatever. These ain't it. <laughs> mm. All right. So, y'all, tell me what y'all would do about this situation. So, we are severely short-staffed where I work. And we're so short-staffed that my boss wants us all to pick up extra hours. Now, the thing is... Sorry, my nose is itching. And I feel like it's going to start running. Now, the thing is... um, <clears throat> She asked me if I wanted to pick up extra hours, to which I told her no, just because um, I just finished nursing school and I wanted to actually enjoy time. Like, I wanted to be off. I wanted to do absolutely nothing. I wanted to go enjoy time with my family, you know? So, like, I told her I wasn't going to pick anything up right away. Like, like give me some time and, and, and maybe I'll be able to help, which is fair, you know? So... The way it works in hospitals, if your nurse manager is able to save the unit that you work on some money, she gets a big fat check. Big fat bonus check. Now my nose is running. <sighs> so, in order to get her big fat check, she's been skimping people out their money. Like... She'd be like, hey, can you come in because we need extra help? I'll pay you incentive, like an extra $10 an hour on top of what you're making. So say, for example, say you're making $10, obviously, like, you know, I think um, coming into the hospital, you make like $14 an hour. Let, let's just put it there. Say you make $14 an hour and you're used to your paychecks being a certain way. An extra $10 an hour? So now you're making $24 an hour? Like that, that would really be helpful. So she'd been telling people, Hey, you know, um, if you come in, I'll give you incentive. I'll give you $10 incentive. And they're like, okay, sure. They're pulling 12 hour shifts and extra eight hour shifts and things like that. Only for her to be like, Oh, well, I realized that we didn't hit your FTE. Like, you know, the amount of hours that you're supposed to work for paycheck. So those extra days that you picked up, I'm just going to give you regular pay. You're not going to get incentive. Like she messing with people's money. Like, she's lying to them, telling them, hey, I'm going to pay you incentive and not paying people incentive. She went a step further with me because she knows I'm unproblematic. But I might have to change that. So, instead of offering me, um, hey, like... You, you can have incentive if you pick up this shift because basically what you got to do in order to like trap her in that is get her to give it to you in writing if, if she's going to offer me incentive i'll say okay send me an email saying that because i could take it to hr and be like this woman ain't paying me my money that's the only way we can get her so instead of her asking me to pick up extra shifts she started scheduling me for extra shifts above my my hourly my weekly hourly um pay grade like she started scheduling me for extra shifts on weekends that are not mine because we work every other weekend so she started scheduling me for weekends that are not my weekends and she's not paying me for it she's she just put it on my schedule and if i don't show up for that even though that's not my weekend i get in trouble be honest what would y'all do you see an extra shift. 
It's not your weekend. She didn't ask you if you could pick up the shift. And she's not paying you incentive. Which is your right. What you gonna do? Now, I already put in my two weeks because I graduated. So I'm gonna be working at a completely different hospital in a completely different area. So here's how she got me. Once I put in my two weeks, she cleared me off of the schedule, but she made sure to add in extra days because after your two weeks, if you um, call off for any of those days, you will get blocked from getting your PTO. So like the PTO time, the paid time off that I have accrued, say I have like 32 hours. That's 32 hours of pay as if I were working that they would pay me, you know, like once I leave the hospital. But if I call off any of those shifts, even if those shifts were illegally put on there, I don't get my PTO. So she trapped me into working it. And I'm mad. <laughs> I'm very mad about that. I don't like dishonesty. Has she talked to me? And stop being cheap. Like the morale is very low where I work, you know? If she just talk to me, stop being cheap, just offer me the incentive that you owe me to work these extra weekend shifts, it would be no problem, you know? But I am going to like talk about this in my exit interview. Because as a Christian and I prayed on this, I was like, Lord, what should I do? Because I can take it to the top and I can't get my money. But is it really worth it? So the whole the only thing I could get from like after praying and stuff was like if, if, if what, like, what was, I don't remember how the verse goes, but like, if they, if they slap you in the cheek, like turn and, and give them the other two. So that's all that just kept playing in my mind. So I was like, okay, Lord, if you want me to just sit back and let you handle it, I'm gonna let you handle it. But I feel so jaded. Like, I, <laughs> you know, and I believe that God has, you know, God has my back in everything. So like, I'm not super worried about it and I'm cool letting it go. I'm only there for a few more shifts, like whatever. I'll work the extra weekend shift, but it's just, that kind of dishonesty is just not cool. And the thing about it is she seems like a nice lady. Like she seems maternal. She seems like she cares about you. And I don't know if I'm just like falling for it, but um, this sneaky, sneaky business, is it's not good. And it's not going to get her like, it, it's not going to get her anywhere far. But... I'm curious, like, those of you who are Christians, those of you who aren't, those of you who have a different religion, whatever, like, how would y'all handle this? What would y'all do? <clears throat> Look, my mama raised me right. I'm not going to disrespect anybody. I would never curse this woman out. I will always get, I will always give her her respect. But... This is just not a good look. So, let me finish this. <clears throat> I didn't mean for this video to be so long. <laughs> I think I'm full. I know I only have a tiny piece left. <clears throat> but I'm not going to push it. Hmm. <sighs> All right, y'all. Thanks for joining me for lunch. This was fun. I'm sorry we kept it ghetto today in my car, but it's just one of those kinds of days. As y'all can see, it's dark. Like, it's about to rain outside. My head is hurting. That whole situation just ticked me off again. <laughs> just describing it and thinking about it. But... A bird is like tripping on top of... It just flew away. A bird was just tripping on top of my car. Like, I just saw it, like, in the window. And... Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you guys for joining me 
for lunch and um yeah follow me on my um tiktok i'm gonna try to be a little bit more active on that it's also ashes room i think it's ashes room yt on tiktok i think i don't know i'm not super super active on there yet but like i have some i have some videos and stuff so follow me on there if you guys are active on tiktok and um like comment and subscribe if you want to if you don't want to do all that then just please remember this channel and come back to visit us come join the dorm party anytime or the car party whatever just come hang out with us again <laughs> all right well anyway y'all um have a blessed day blessed week whatever whenever you see this um remember to let me know your uh, prayer requests in the comments and i will see you guys in another video <laughs> bye <laughs>